In the last episode of Walking with Monsters, our earliest fish ancestors escaped their armored enemies, the arthropods. They evolved legs and lungs and took their first steps onto land. But not far enough from the perils of the water. Now our amphibian ancestors have made another huge leap forward. They've evolved into the first reptiles. But they will face other giants. Monsters who consider this their turf. The war for the world has moved onto dry land. The arthropods are back. Three hundred million years ago, much of the earth was covered in vast swamp forests. Here nothing is as it seems. The fifty meter giants towering above this water world may look like trees, but they're actually distant relatives of ferns. Even the air is alien. Over a third is oxygen, much higher than at any other time in history. This oxygen-rich atmosphere has fueled the growth of new, super-sized arthropod predators. This mesothelae spider is the size of a human head. She'd be hunting cats if she were alive today. She's an ambush predator, operating from her underground headquarters. Safe in her burrow, she rests her feet on carefully constructed trip lines. These allow her to pick up vibrations from the outside world. Reptile Petrolacosaurus is hunting on the forest floor. Unlike our amphibian ancestors, he has tough scaly skin which traps moisture inside his body, vital for all land dwellers. Because he doesn't dry out in the sun, he can venture away from water. But that means encountering new predators. Reptile outruns the spider. He's evolved a complex heart, much more efficient than his enemies. In fact, the template for our own. It's a powerful pump that pushes blood and oxygen around his body to his muscles, so he can run at high speed without stopping for a rest. This time, though, he's trapped inside a log. First, the spider's armor stops her squeezing in. But she's not going to give up so easily. Back in her lair, Mesothele will inject her victim with digestive juices to dissolve him from inside.
There are other dangers in the swamp apart from predators. The water levels can change rapidly. They've risen. The spider drags her dinner home, but something's wrong. Her headquarters are flooding. She'll have to evacuate. She can't dig, so she'll have to find another hole she can adapt. And once outside, she's vulnerable to larger predators. Mega Neura is a monster dragonfly, queen of the Carboniferous skies. With a wingspan of almost a meter, she's the size of an eagle with an appetite to match. High above her Carboniferous kingdom, normally she's invincible. But trouble's brewing. The flood below is due to an approaching storm. The super oxygenated atmosphere, which has helped fuel the growth of the insects and arthropods, is highly volatile. A lightning strike could trigger an explosion. The clock is ticking for the swamp. The rising water levels suit one group of hunters. Amphibians. They've continued thriving over the last 60 million years. Their thin skin still restrict them to the water's edge, but they're now powerful predators with a devastating pair of jaws, ready to ambush anything that wanders within reach. The homeless spider tries her luck further inland, but other mesothelae fill the forest floor and they don't like to share. Neither does Arthropleura. He's a distant relative of modern millipedes, but as long as a car. He can rear up tall enough to look you right in the eye. Although he's vegetarian, his strong jaws could still deliver a nasty bite. With the rising waters, Arthropleura's foraging leads him into dangerous territory. This clash of the titans, the arthropod's armor is his best defense. Unless it gets split. Impaled, his soft innards provide a feast. lightning storm is building, moving ever closer. Just in time, the spider finds another hole. A Petrolacosaurus is evicted, but reptiles don't need burrows to avoid danger. They have speed and stamina on their side. Meanwhile, the spider starts to turn the hole into a hunter's lair. <laughs> 